गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टार्टेड अ न्यू पॉइंट दैट इज हाइड्रोकार्बन ओके एंड हाइड्रोकार्बन फर्दर क्लासिफाइड इन टू सैचुरेटेड एंड अनसैचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन इन सैचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन इट कंटेन अ सिंगल बॉन्ड एंड अनसैचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन दैट इज डबल और ट्रिपल बॉन्ड ओके सो वी हैव लर्न इन लास्ट लेक्चर अबाउट अल्केन्स so alkene and alkene series also i have given already homework to you most of the students completed because they sent me on my whatsapp number so now see what we have learned before that is alkene and this is the general formula that is clnh2 l see here now we we'll take a propane now propane means how many carbon are present in this c pro so three carbons one two and this three carbons are present and according to this formula c3 then how many hydrogen atoms see this is the structural formula of propane okay see how many hydrogens one two three four five six seven A. So this molecular formula of propane C three H eight. Okay, and this is a known as a structural formula. Structural formula. Now see, now till last it is taken. You saw that the structural formula it is two B. Okay. instead of this structural formula we have means we have to condense this structural formula in a short way now how to write c here c then first write c hydrogen how many 1 2 3 okay so c h 3 means what we uh, have to remove this single bond and directly just write down the number of hydrogen atom so c h 3 Then here it is single bond. C here how many hydrogens? One, two. Just write the number of hydrogen. Then single bond is C. One, two, three. So C H three. Okay. This is the easy to write because this is this formula is B, and then we have to condense in a short form. So you can write this way. So C H three C. Then H three Y because one, two, and three hydrogen atoms. Then C two hydrogen atoms. So here two, and then again uh, link with another carbon atom. That is the then one, two, and three hydrogen atom. So this formula is known as a condensed formula. Okay. So this is the new point for you. So what you have to do today? Just write down condensed formula of all these alkene series. Okay, the condensed formula just write down. Now see one more example we will take. That is, which one example we will take? That is a heptane. Okay, see methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane. Hexane, heptane. So heptane means how many carbon atom? Seven carbon atom. Okay. So here we write. Okay. Write down this in your notebook and just check whatever you wrote before the structural formula whether it is correct or not. Okay. So what heptane? A N E means what? It is a belongs to alkene family. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Heptane means how many carbon atom? Seven carbon atom. Just hydrogen. Okay. See here. One, two, three, four. It is four. It is the carbon atom is four. Hydrogen.
okay this is which formula this is structural formula this is general formula so now molecular formula according to this we can you can calculate that okay so now we have to write the condensed formula first you do it first after that you check whether it do a condensed formula is correct or not see what we write first c now h 1 2 3 just we have to think about this okay so c h 3 this one single bond now here how many hydrogens two c h 2 single bond here how many hydrogens two i am doing this because you should understand it c c h 2 okay again single bond C H two again single bond. C H two okay one two three four five. C H two six and at last C. See here this C H two, C H two, C H two, C H two, C H two and last how many hydrogens? One two and three. So here it will be C H three. Okay. This is the condensed formula of heptane. Understand? Okay. See, it will be this portion will be not there for your exam, but for extra information, you should know about this. So maybe alkene series is completed. So today your homework is to complete the condensed formula of all the compounds. Okay. Now here. I will stop and see in coal and petroleum. Our last point it is remaining that is the some limited natural resources. After this video, I am going to send you that video also, so you learn from that. So today our lesson will be completed. Okay, thank you.